A viewer asks what coronary artery disease means. Let's take a look at coronary artery anatomy. You've got three blood vessels that supply your heart. The right coronary artery, which takes up 30% of the supply. The left anterior descending, which needs 40% of the supply of your heart. And the left circumflex, which carries 30% of the supply. These vessels are non-redundant, meaning they cannot cover each other off if there's increased demand or sudden loss of supply. And your heart muscle can have an up to two and a half times increase in demand. Atherosclerosis starts with macrophages from the immune system invading into the endothelial wall, eating fat. This leads to foam cells and a fatty streak, which is visible under a microscope. The intermediate lesion is when the macrophages can't eat all the fat and you get lipid pools forming outside of the foam cells. This then goes on to the atheroma, which is when the fat coalesces into a lump. Finally, fibroatheroma is a calcified fibrotic lesion. The endothelium can't take the strain. You get a complex lesion. The endothelium ruptures, exposing the fibroatheroma to platelets, which then form clots, and boom, you lose the vessel, you got a heart attack. The risk factors include smoking, diabetes, cholesterol, high blood pressure, sedentary or obesity, oral contraceptive pills, and depression. Prevent coronary disease, you got to stop smoking, exercise heart healthy diet, manage stress and mood, manage blood pressure, cholesterol, see your doctor about ASA.